What's up everybody, Little Monster here, and have you ever wished your plants could grow like, twice as fast? Imagine harvesting fresh lettuce in just a few weeks or having an endless supply of herbs right in your kitchen. Well, strap on your gardening gloves because today, we're diving deep into the world of aeroponic farming. We're talking about ditching the dirt and growing plants in mid-air. No, seriously. Aeroponics uses 95% less water than traditional farming, and because the roots are literally breathing in pure oxygen, your plants grow way faster. We'll cover everything from setting up your own system to choosing the best crops for maximum yield. Plus, we'll bust some myths about aeroponics and show you how it can save you money in the long run. So, let's jump right in. Alright, first things first. What exactly is aeroponic farming? Basically, it's like giving your plants a VIP upgrade. Instead of being stuck in soil, the roots hang out in the air, and they get showered with a nutrient-rich mist at regular intervals. Now, you might be thinking plants need soil, right? Well, not really. Soil just acts as a support structure and provides nutrients. In aeroponics, we're taking out the middleman and delivering those nutrients directly to the roots. And because the roots are exposed to so much oxygen, they can absorb those nutrients way faster, leading to, you guessed it, faster growth. Aeroponics is being used everywhere, from indoor vertical farms in the heart of cities to massive commercial greenhouses. Now you might have heard of hydroponics, which is another soilless growing method. So, how does aeroponics stack up? Well, both methods ditch the dirt and deliver nutrients directly to the roots, but there are some key differences. In hydroponics the roots are submerged in a nutrient solution kind of like a constant bath for your plants. Aeroponics on the other hand, keeps those roots nice and dry, misting them with nutrients at regular intervals. Because aeroponics uses less water than hydroponics, it's even better for the environment. And since those roots are exposed to so much oxygen, aeroponic plants often grow even faster than their hydroponic counterparts. It's like giving your plants a supercharged growth boost. Now in terms of setup, hydroponics is generally easier to get started with. You can find simple hydroponic kits online or at your local garden center. Aeroponics, however, requires a bit more equipment and precision, especially when it comes to the misting system. All right, so you're ready to jump into the world of aeroponic gardening. Awesome! But before you run off and start building, let's talk about the different types of systems you can choose from. First up, we've got Low Pressure Aeroponics, or LPA for short. This is like the gateway drug of aeroponics. It's super simple, budget-friendly, and perfect for beginners. LPA systems typically use a standard pump to spray nutrients onto the roots, and they're great for growing smaller plants like lettuce, herbs, and strawberries. Next, we've got the Big Guns High Pressure Aeroponics, or HPA. These systems use a high-powered pump to create a super-fine mist that coats the roots like a dream. Because the droplets are so small, HPA systems provide even better oxygenation and nutrient absorption, leading to explosive plant growth. If you're serious about aeroponics and want to maximize your yields, HPA is the way to go. Chapter 4. Best Crops to Grow with Aeroponics Okay, time to talk about the stars of the show, the plants. Now you can grow pretty much anything with aeroponics, but some crops thrive in this soilless environment more than others. First up, let's talk about the speed demons, fast-growing leafy greens. We're talking lettuce, spinach, kale, all those salad staples that you can harvest in just a few weeks with aeroponics. These plants love the constant supply of nutrients and oxygen, and they'll reward you with an abundance of fresh greens. Next, we've got the aromatic herbs. Basil, mint, oregano, cilantro, all those flavorful additions to your favorite dishes. Not only do herbs flourish in aeroponic systems, but they also tend to have a much higher concentration of essential oils, making them even more flavorful. Plus, fresh herbs can get pricey at the store, so growing your own can save you some serious dough. Chapter 5. How to set up an aeroponic system, step by step. All right, let's get our hands dirty, or should I say, not dirty. Setting up an aeroponic system might seem intimidating, but it's easier than you think. Follow these steps and you'll be growing your own food in no time. Step 1 is choosing your system. Think about your budget, space, and what you want to grow. Step 2 is setting up the reservoir misting nozzles and pump. Step 3 is where the plants come in. Place your seedlings in net pots, allowing roots to hang freely. Use a support structure to keep the plants upright. Chapter 6. Best Nutrients for Aeroponic Plants Now let's talk plant food. Just like us, plants need a balanced diet to thrive, and in aeroponics it's up to you to play the role of chef. The three essential nutrients that all plants need are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Think of them as the building blocks of plant life. Nitrogen is crucial for leafy green growth, phosphorus helps develop strong roots, and potassium is essential for flowering and fruiting. 
In addition to these macronutrients, plants also need a cocktail of micronutrients like calcium, magnesium, and iron. These are like the vitamins and minerals of the plant world, and they play a vital role in overall plant health. You can find pre-mixed nutrient solutions that are specifically designed for aeroponics. All right, let's talk about sunshine, or at least the next best thing. If you're growing outdoors, your plants will soak up all the natural sunlight they need. But if you're growing indoors, you'll need to provide your plants with some artificial light to keep them happy and photosynthesizing. The best type of lighting for indoor aeroponics is full-spectrum LED grow lights. These lights emit a spectrum of light that's similar to natural sunlight, and they're super energy efficient, which is great for your wallet and the environment. When it comes to light schedules, most plants will thrive with 12 to 16 hours of light per day. You can use a simple timer to automate your lighting system, and you can even adjust the light intensity as your plants grow. It's like giving your plants their own personal sunrise and sunset every day. Okay, so you've got your aeroponic system up and running, your plants are thriving, and you're well on your way to becoming an urban farming ninja. But before you put on your victory gardening gloves, let's talk about maintenance. Maintaining an aeroponic system is all about consistency and attention to detail. One of the most important things you can do is check the water levels in your reservoir daily. Aeroponic systems use water very efficiently, but they still need to be topped off regularly to prevent the roots from drying out. Next up, you'll want to give those misting nozzles a good cleaning at least once a week. Over time, mineral deposits and algae can build up in the nozzles, which can clog them and prevent your plants from getting the nutrients they need. A simple soak in vinegar or hydrogen peroxide will usually do the trick. Alright, let's face it, even the most experienced aeroponic gardeners run into problems from time to time. But don't worry, most of these issues are easy to fix with a little troubleshooting. One of the most common problems is clogged misting nozzles, which we talked about earlier. If you notice that your plants aren't looking as perky as usual, or that the misting pattern seems uneven, it's time to give those nozzles a good cleaning. Another common issue is root drying. This can happen if the misting cycles aren't frequent enough, or if the humidity levels in your growing area are too low. To prevent root drying, increase the misting frequency, and consider using a humidifier to add some moisture to the air. Algae growth is another nuisance that can plague aeroponic systems. Alright, it's time to reap the rewards of all your hard work harvesting. The best part about aeroponics is that you can often harvest your crops much faster than with traditional gardening. Leafy greens like lettuce, spinach and kale can be harvested in just 3 to 5 weeks. You can harvest the entire head or just pick the outer leaves. Herbs like basil and mint can be harvested as soon as they have enough leaves. Regular trimming encourages bushier growth. Fruiting crops like tomatoes and strawberries will let you know when they're ready. Use clean, sharp tools to prevent damage to the plants. Now let's talk business. You've seen the incredible growth rates, the water savings, and the delicious homegrown produce. But can you actually make money with aeroponic farming? The answer is a resounding yes. One of the biggest advantages of aeroponics is that it allows you to grow more food in less space and time. Faster growth cycles mean more harvest per year, which translates to more revenue for you. Plus, with lower water and nutrient costs, aeroponics is a very sustainable and cost-effective way to grow food. Farmers markets are a great place to connect with local customers and sell your produce directly. You can also partner with local restaurants, cafes, and juice bars that are always on the lookout for fresh, locally sourced ingredients. Now you don't have to take my word for it. Let's hear from some real-life aeroponic farming rock stars, proving this method is good for the planet and business. Meet Sarah, a stay-at-home mom who turned her passion into a thriving aeroponic business. She started small in her basement and quickly built a loyal customer base. Next, John, a former software engineer, now grows aeroponic strawberries. His strawberries are sold at high-end restaurants and demand is high. All right, folks, there you have it. We've covered everything from the basics of aeroponic farming to advanced techniques, and I hope you're as excited about this innovative growing method as I am. Remember, aeroponics is not just about growing food, it's about growing a more sustainable, resilient, and delicious future. By embracing this technology, we can reduce our reliance on traditional agriculture, conserve precious resources, and enjoy fresh, flavorful produce year-round. So what are you waiting for? Start small, experiment, and don't be afraid to fail. The beauty of aeroponics is that it's a continuous learning process, and there's always something new to discover. And that's a wrap on aeroponic farming. I hope you enjoyed learning about this awesome way to grow your own food. It's like the future of farming, but you can start doing it right now in your own home. 
If you're as stoked about aeroponics as I am, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And hey, if you've got any questions or want to share your own aeroponic adventures, drop a comment down below. I read every single one, I swear. Until next time, happy growing. And remember, it's not about the size of your garden, it's about the size of your heart.